Double Dash really does feel like it came straight from the Nintendo 64 and the PlayStation 1 era, and I am all down for that. Let's get to the video. Hello, it's George from Australia, and welcome to Gaming My Whole Life, where I discuss everything video game related from good old past pixels to the birth of 3D until now. Welcome to my humble Smexy Australian Gaming YouTube channel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have tracked down yet again another fun demo, right? This game, Double Dash, is coming out in 2023. It was originally a Kickstarter, which was very successful. They got like 400% of their funding. I tried out the demo and I have to say it gets all the ingredients correct. The level progression, the wonderful art style, it just feels fun. It has this more simple feel to it. It's the levels are designed very well, lots of secrets, lots of, you know, go back and forth, realize more details as you do them. It's just a great game. So what we're going to do is I am going to play the game in front of you, shock horror. How I do my reviews, hands-on impressions, this and that. Firstly, this is just a demo, so it's definitely not a review, but it is a hands-on for the demo, right? I like to play games where I just tell you, as a fellow gamer, from one gamer to another, what is fun, what works, right? It's very rare I'm going to overanalyze something, you know, really critique it, and I talk about things that are not fun, because I'm a gamer, guess what? I want to enjoy my games. The fact that I'm even talking about this game means it's good. I refuse to actually talk about games I don't like because that's boring. There's enough negativity and drama and fake rage on YouTube, right? I'm not interested in that. So let's enjoy Double Dash. Watch me play it. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And uh, let's get to it. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Double Dash. This is the opening screen. This uh, little cutie with the <laughs> with the sleep air bubble, the anime style, the PS1 graphics. This is who we're playing as. Let's get to it. By Rystick Studios, the developer and publisher. And the game begins. So this is a 2.5D adventure. You move left, you move right. You can see all of the, you know, the 3D in the world behind you and so forth. Now it's called 2.5D because yes, you're in a 3D environment even though you only move left to right, but you will come across many instances in the game where you will be able to navigate uh, differently in the 3D space. So we can see, let's have a look at our moves. So we have a nice kick, we have a little charge, we have this adorable <laughs> little, little little dance, you're just, you're just having a great time, just having a great old time. Um, you can taunt. <laughs> other NPCs, you just slap your butt at them, or you can do this move, which I think is actually adorable. It's like she's a kid, like she's going to pounce, or she's twerking at them to mess with them. But <laughs> you could even do a little butt shake. So um, so that's fine. Now, the main thing with this game is grabbing, right? So I can jump, grab, and I can actually go back to where I was. While you play the game, you'll be prompted with uh, that icon, you react to it, you get a little bit of dialogue, you know, or it will give you a new move. So the game is case sensitive, so while you explore, you want to pay attention to anything that pops up. Let's go to Gran Gran and see if she knows what's up. We have a treasure chest. I can pick things up. Ooh. I got a peoplepedia. I don't need that anymore. <laughs> well, there's a couch. Oh, you get the pop-up. This old thing has seen better days. We have a bed, a pile of clothes. <laughs> well, how about we kick it? Oh, and there you go. We got Hoodie of Yesteryear. Now we can interact with a lot of things, right? You can get these little apple things that keep spawning in this particular spot. 
Now apples or whatever these fruits are give you your health, which is cool. So let's have a look at our inventory. It's a nice clean layout, you know. What's cool is I'm wearing this uh, romping suit, right? Now in the game you will unlock other layouts. And by cleaning that pile of clothes that the game did not tell me to do, but I figured out, boom, we can change. Which I think is very nice. See, we can do all the same moves, and our little dances, our little attacks. So that's pretty cool. Now personally, I prefer this, so I'll just switch back to it. But it's a nice incentive to know that in the game, you can get multiple costumes. Now, this is where the 2.5D begins. It's like, all right, we'll be going left to right this whole time. And the camera did rotate for us a little bit. But if we go here, boom, perspective changes. We are now running on a different plane. The music really is nice. The graphics are nice. I like the touch that because a volcano has gone off, you can continuously see like little fireball embers flying. That's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. Also, I wonder if our character will do something because she's idling, you know? Yeah, she's, uh, she's animating a little bit. She's animated. You know, back in the day, idle animations were a big thing. You'd always not touch them for a little while or not let them move for a bit. Yeah, scratch your nose, you know? <laughs> make sure I have all the uh, graphic settings up. Yeah, cool. This is good. Oh. <laughs> Quest discovered. Loam can't swim. <laughs> no, she can't. Because, you know, you can see our fruit up there. We had three before. We have two now. She did not like that. So let's explore. Okay. The game gives you instructions, like, you know, how to play this and that. <laughs> now what's funny is, you can pick up almost anything in this game. You can see the little sweat. And look at her face. <laughs> you know, at first it's just a serious that. But if you hold it down and shake, she just has this glee. She just has this innocence childlikeness about her, right? It's like, alright, what, what can we do? Well, we can pick things up and we can throw, but what the game's teaching us is we can actually throw in the foreground. See? Now we're obviously meant to hit that marker, so let's do that. And boom! Now what's cool as well is you may think, right, all the 3D behind us, that's just, that's just there for looks. It's like, no, actually, you get to explore everything you see in the background one way or another, so what I've learned as I kept playing this demo is while you play, take advantage of the camera just changing just a little bit so you can uh, see, you know, what you've missed out on. Oh, let's jump up. Alrighty. <laughs> the blue one's four, so let's try that again. And give me the money. <laughs> Get some nice coins. I love that anime defeated eyes. Like, what did you do to me? What did you do? Well, I don't care. <laughs> oh, there you get by here. Okay, I can't destroy that. Do 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 do, 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 do. Hey, bestie. Boom, 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 boom. Alrighty, see? So, here we have the option of clearly running left to right. But if we react to this, perspective changes. And you can see behind you as well now. So you take in the different details. Makes the world feel more alive when you change the perspective and you can see the area that you just went through. You know, maybe you missed something last time. Let's see. Oh, Ooh, there's a shiny item up there. Oh, 
Okay, there's something here as well. Ooh, a rare pepper with powerful flavor, but is dangerous to eat raw. Can be cooked into a mean meal by an experienced chef. Ooh, experienced chef. <laughs> I do like the pop-up though. This game actually really reminds me of Tombi. If anyone ever played that game back on the PS1, I really want to hunt that down so I can do a retro review of Tombi. But this gives me serious Tombi vibes. Something stupid, you know, the, the jump in a lot of the moves. It's I don't consider it a bad thing. I'm just saying the inspiration is uh, is clearly there. It's clearly there. So let's keep exploring. Oh. All right, let's have a let's have a look. See what's <gasps> there's a doggy. Oh, <laughs> look at his face. I've just picked a stranger's picked up this dog and he's happy. <laughs> and I can shake him and throw him. Oh, but you know what's hilarious though? Ah, oh, okay. Can't pick her up. Oh, oh we pet the dog. <gasps> Colored pinwheel. Being nice to animals might yield their favor. Oh, look, he has hearts coming from him now. Look at this happy dog. <laughs> look at him. Even if I shake him, he like he loves me. He loves me because I paid him that one time. Then I'll put you down carefully. Hello, you. Now, whenever you pet dogs in this game and you get a pinwheel, you give it to this chick. She asks you for it. You're like, yeah. I got a, I got a pinwheel or two, and then it appears, you know, visibly in the environment. You're meant to get something out of that. Oh. Nice. The idea is, if you see something to shake, you should, uh, you should shake it. You know, hence the name. Dare I say? <laughs> Look how happy she is, just, you know, cause, causing her mischief, right? Yeah. Ooh, coins. But you know what's hilarious about this? <laughs> That's right. You can pick up people. <laughs> you can shake people. You can freaking throw them. <laughs> yep, yep. I did it, and to make it worse, <laughs> she gets annoyed if you slap her ass. But if I dance or happy with her, they dance back. They dance back. It's just just such a humble little game, you know. Oh, oh. she doesn't appreciate the twerk though. I'm like, yeah, shaking my butt at you. <laughs> she does not like that. Even the shopkeeper, <laughs> you can just grab them. All right. Ah, oh, I was hoping if I just dropped you instead of threw you, you wouldn't be so uh, dramatic. But look, bombs. So you can practice throwing things in the foreground. So it really encourages that whole uh, 2.5D thing, right? Oh, didn't do that well. Just continuously reminding you that, hey, uh, it's not just left to right, you know? It's not just left to right. What if I throw this at you? Huh. Who would have thought she'd get upset if I uh, throw a bomb at her? Hmm. Ah, now this is funny. Check this out. So I can just, ah, just bring all of them out, right? Grab this can. I can shake it for fizz, and then, whee! <laughs> which I think is hilarious. Shake, shake, whee! To access secrets, to access higher areas, as any good game from the '90s would have been, and from today's thing, you know. Oh, there's another doggy. There we go. Hi, doggy. I'm gonna pet you as well. Yes, I got a pinwheel, and he loves me. He loves me so much. All right, that's enough love. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need to figure out how to get up there. But I like that. That's good game design, you know. Where the game hints at you, it's like, hey, you need to figure stuff out, you know. Anything there? No. Alright. Let's go. That whole 2.5 day thing's kicked in. And I like it, because like, you know, you can get a you can get a closer look at the character. Snap snap. <laughs> now 
Now in the full version of the game, you'll have access to crafting, whatever that is, but golden peppers. If we bring him four, he will do something nice for us. So, you know, it encourages you to explore. All right, let's just get out of here. Little fisherman. Okay, always explore the environments for secrets. Nothing here. Let's just go. Wee. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Got another one of those golden peppers that we were uh, that we were looking at. All right, into the ocean. That's how you recycle, right? Pretty sure I got that correct. Wee. See, this bit was the eye opener for me the moment I started first playing. So I was in a totally new area, but you can see it connects to an old area we have already been. So without us even realizing, when we first played the game, it gave us a hint that, hey, there's some stuff back here and you are going to want to figure out... <laughs> Sorry, mate, you're, you're still upset at me, it seems. Sorry. Okay, maybe slapping my butt at you uh, isn't the best apology, but let's just go with it, right? Let's just go with it. Let's keep exploring. <laughs> But I love this, right? I love this. It's very simple. I, I'll be honest with you, right? I didn't think I would originally enjoy this game just because when it comes to PS1 games, I prefer the full 3D platformers, you know, um, like Croc or Spyro the Dragon or what have you. So being restricted to just left and right movements, I thought I wouldn't like this. But it's nice how the camera, camera follows you, changes, you explore. It's nice. It's nice, right? Yep. So you can go to your journal. You can decide what to focus on. So nice and simple, you know. This is our friend from before. And this is how you save in the game. She takes a picture. Yep, okay, please don't explain to me how saving works. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there's a tourist who... Ah, okay, there's a tourist who can't get by that. So I'll do the nice thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old gaming logic. Realism wasn't needed. It's like, what if the player just wants to throw the poor tourist through the rock? Do it, I say. Do it. Oh, but we have the nice 2.5D game. You see, you just you keep jumping into... Oh, hello. Ah, darn, it's locked. You keep jumping into the environment. The perspective keeps changing. The music is absolutely delightful, to be honest. It's very nice. It's very simple. Oh. Oh, missed. Ha. Ha. Hello, friend. Ha, I got you again. Meh. Oh, let's have a look. Let's let's see where this staircase leads us. Oh, hey, girl. I'm going to read out this long thing in the middle of a demo playthrough. But see, in the environment, you can see all these different things. We are going to be able to access them at some point, right? So it's nice to know that the world is bigger than what it feels. You might think it's a small experience because you're left to right. It's like, no. But also... It'll show if you're extra observant, 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 there we go, um, you will notice things. So, for example, you may think that the right thing to do is just to go back. No, you're meant to pay attention. Don't let the 2.5 day fool you. See how we have those blue things floating in the air? You couldn't see them going up, but from this perspective, the camera lets us do it. The camera is always giving us hints, right? Now, I can't actually reach it, so let's do a little bit of advanced maneuvering. Sorry, buddy. You're nervous, and to be frank, you have every right to be. Huh. Huh. Now remember, these drop. <laughs> so. There we go. Victory dance, because I am adorable. Take that, game world. Take that. All right. That's uh. <laughs> Took a leap of faith there. Yeah. Let's see where we end up here. All right. Now, this took me forever to figure out, so be grateful for what I'm going to follow you. 
Normally, you would just jump to the next thing, right? But what if you fall? Oh, there's another doggy. There's another doggy to pet. It took me forever to find this guy. But much respect to the developers, though, because there's secrets, you know? What the game did, which got me so invested in its world, is the fact that I kept going back and forth, back and forth, kept revisiting areas as I tried to figure out what to do. Very, you know, 90s style gameplay. And every time I went back to areas repeatedly, I kept noticing small details I didn't notice the other time, or I'll try something, get a little bit creative. And then you get this, um, oh, she gonna dance with me? Yeah. Oh, are we dancing? We friends? Nah. Come on. Twerk it. Twerk it. <laughs> well, actually, I'm going to pounce on something. Right. But yeah, so the fact it's filled with secrets and you revisit, you would think it's simple, but it's not. And the way the camera follows, you don't need to worry about camera movement. Very nice, right? Very nice. All right. Let us, uh, let us keep exploring. Let us keep exploring. We've collected a number of pins. We've pet a few animals. So let's go back to this chick. I have several pinwheels. I have another two for you. Because I am a gun. There we go. Lots of extra pinwheels. Oh, I can't swim, so... Not much point about that. But let's keep going. Those of you extra observant may have realized that as I walk by, a little pop-up pops up here. Took me forever to notice this. I can't, hang on. Up, 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 up. It's like, eh, meh. There we go, there was another hidden dog. Thanks, friend. Now, don't trust strangers who can do that. <laughs> Oh, fun, fun. Oh. Want to see something else cool that I uh, that I discovered? I think it's actually worthwhile. So we've, you know, gone like this. You may have noticed nothing. Fool, fool. There is more to notice. Whee! Look at this. All of a sudden, different area, different camera angle. <laughs> it's all happening. It's all happening. There is so much more than what me see I this demo is actually jam-packed with quite a lot of hours of gameplay when you don't know where things are and you're trying to find it and I really like this as well because the camera gets nice and close so you can see the details on the character <laughs> one of these might make a good uh, thumbnail you know makes it better when the camera is zoomed in but yeah look at this it's just a completely new thing you know, it's like, oh, can I go there? You think about it. Oh? Ah, oh, another pepper. Another pepper. Oh, there we go. There we go. And there we go. And now we're back here. Just like that. All, all these exciting adventures, right? Now we have four peppers. Which is very good. This door's locked. <laughs> this game really shouldn't give me the option to just shake people for no reason. Because I, I feel sorry for the people. Oh, hang on. Speaking of shake. <laughs> Shaking a bottle. Oh, I'll collect that. And I'll collect that. Look at that! Look at that. <laughs> See, it isn't just that this game reminds you of your childhood, which it obviously does, right? And as I said, very much of Tombi. It isn't just that it reminds you of PlayStation 1 games and Nintendo 64. It's the fact that it plays like them, right? It plays like them. You know, there's just this simple innocence to it. I mean, for example, you know, what, what she's wearing, right? Like, she's, she's not wearing pants. These days, you know, people on Twitter and, you know, let's be honest, losers, would make a big fuss about this. Like, oh my goodness, she's showing so much legs. But everyone knows who grew up in this era that no one looked at these characters badly or anything and that there was no shame around it. You know, we're just having fun. 
You're not meant to think about things. You're meant to be in a colorful environment with nice music and just enjoy yourself. And this game embraces it and even gives you multiple costumes, which is nice. So he wanted golden peppers. Here you go. A little pop up, you know, a celebration music. It's great. It's great. I um, all right. I made something, which if I eat it, here we are. If I eat this, so at the moment I have two peppers and I max out at four. If I eat this, I will get an extra whole pepper. Max health increase. Oh, okay, sorry. Before I could only get three peppers, and now I get four, which is my health, remember. So, ha, I can give them a cardboard box. Something tells me there's no what they're after. Ah, the crystals in the quest satchel. That's important to note. Oh, ha, a catapult, that, uh, that seems pretty important. Oh, smiley face. So even this is very game. You see how it zooms out, you know, of like a new object? And the game's just subtle hinting you that, hey, you should, uh, you should maybe go to that. Like all things, you shake, something happens. Now you'd think I'd go forward, but this is a video game, what have we learned? Always go in the opposite direction the game's trying to take you. Because then you find things like this white snow doggy, hello. Yay. You can, you can love me as well. You can love me as well. Alright, now we go where the game's trying to lead us. Oh, that's quite the catapult. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, hey, goth girl. Happy Neary. Hot, hot, hot. Happy, 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 happy. Alright, let's just skip through this. And obviously talking to people gives you quests. I like to call her the Zelda chick. Hmm, who I probably should have spoken to instead of <laughs> just knocked down. Alright, so we'll dance together, we'll be fine. There we go. Have to say I'm a better dancer than you. You need, uh, you need to pick up your game. Yeah, sure, you can take another picture of me. We're friends. Post that stuff on Instagram. I don't know what these are, but it's funny that they pretty much exist just for you to abuse them. <laughs> like, what is that even about, you know? What the heck? Okay, these guys are uh, don't look nice. No. Okay, drop it. Drop it. Okay, these guys only die if you shake them. That's interesting. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. It certainly wasn't worth grabbing a fish. Do 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 do. do na, 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 na. Oh, 
what's up here? Oh. Oh, this is very interesting. Okay. So this is what I mean by things keep changing, right? You walk down here, you go along this path. The camera just follows you. It's all good. But when you jump up here, you go in a completely different direction. And then you get a sneak peek to see a different view of the area you had just been. So then that's how you figure out secrets in this game. You know, at first you walk down there, you don't notice anything. Then you see it from a different perspective and you're like, what the heck is that? There's a bridge thing there. There's clearly a bridge thing there. How do I get there? You know, it makes you more, makes you more perceptive. Don't know what you are, but you seem like you need a good shake. And throw. It's alright, I'll dance for you. It's fine. There you go, you're happy. But maybe I should talk to you. Boy, I can't wait for my deep lore and epic questline in the full version of Double Shake. Oh, haha, pardon me, I'm just talking to myself. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, fourth war humour in this game. Alright, so I have monies. Sure, I love my coffee, my mocha. So I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy this. And I'm gonna buy that. Alright, so I bought a whole bunch of things. Where are they? Oh, hang on. I feel I was meant to buy more things. I have a mocha. I have a banana sundae. Two things I like. What was the third, the third thing I didn't buy? The water. Oh, I don't have enough coins. Ha! Huh. I only just realized he's balancing a freaking coffee on his head. And the shop is a huge cat. Which, which is really funny. It's really funny. All these different characters to talk to. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm a professional. <laughs> I was actually hoping she would uh, fall in the water, but sure. We can do this. Um, sorry. No, let's let's make this worse. Yeah, you're not you're not surviving this one. <laughs> Look, it's not that bad. The characters tend to respawn in the area that they originally were. You know. Oh no. Normally that does happen. I killed this one. Okay. Feel a little bad about that feel a little bad. Where, where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, we've just went back here. Alright. We'll, uh, we'll just pretend that we're not aware that there's a corpse in that water because I threw that. Oh my goodness. Also, for a demo, um, I haven't come across bugs or anything. It's, uh, it's done very well. Ha! <laughs> She's still not back. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Sorry if I, you know, accidentally killed you. I know that's, uh, I know that's frowned upon in some communities, you know, killing. <laughs> oh, can we, there we go. Let's try and break all of these. You know, you really don't deserve the abuse you get from me. Like, I, I understand that. I understand I should be better as a human. Oh, okay. Um, grabbing these out of the ground reminds me of Mario 2. Huh. Hmm. Okay, I was... In my head, I was, like, hitting them. Huh. Can't I hit them? Ah, oh, yes. Okay. It did work. I was gonna say, I'm like, what else can I do here? Huh. If someone told me, like if someone gave me this game and said this only works on um, on PlayStation, like this is an actual PlayStation, or because the graphics seem a little bit advanced, I'd believe them if they said this was a Nintendo 64 game. Oh. Ah, there we go. There we go. I'm up a bit higher. I'm somewhere new. Ooh. What's here? 
Oh, ch chest. Shake, shake, shake. Ooh, I have a fancy hat now. Well, nothing can stop me if I have a fancy hat. Oh, no. Nope. Didn't do that, right? See, I like that you can grab objects and people <laughs> and use them as like a throwing board. Now, obviously, I can get up there somehow, right? Oh. Oh, a hand appears. Oh, nice. If a hand appears, that means I can grab it. I got the seed of a wind plant. All right. Whatever that is, that felt that felt good. That felt important. Oh, oh shoot! You can shake things off her. What's that? Banana nya 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 acquired. All right. Uh, oh, oh! I fell down. Oh, it didn't even occur to me. I just automatically went to platforming mode. I'm like, yeah, I jumped there. It never occurred to me. What if you just actually fall down? You'll probably access things that you normally can't. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay, it's just the other side of this. All right, look, I, I got needlessly excited, but that's what I do. <laughs> I get needlessly excited. Like, isn't that, isn't that what all this is about? Oh, oh, that's hilarious. I just jumped off that just for fun without thinking. And I just found another doggy. Yeah. Oh, he loves me so much. Boy. Oh, I think this was the area I was trying to figure out how to do it. Yes. I saw this from a distance before. I'm like, how in the world do I get here? I accidentally jumped here. Oh, I don't care about fish. Oh, but there's boats. All right, my character still can't swim. You take a little nap. Um, there is a trick for gain further distance. So when you jump, you kick. See? Oh, there's definitely something here then. <laughs> there is nothing here. Did the game just troll me? Yeah, no, there's nothing out here. All right, well. Thankfully, it kicked me right back to the start anyway. Actually, maybe I will take that fish. You know what? You're coming with me, dog. You're coming with me. We're going. We're going to take over the world, you and I. We are bestest buds. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Um, what's in this direction? No, I don't have the heart to throw you in the water. Well, what are you? Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> Alright, ring. Just gave that a little shake. Oh, let me check the right side first. Just in case I'm overlooking something. But yeah, look at these PS1 like textures. Like, very good. Very, very good. Yeah, no, I love this. See, even now as the camera rotates, I'm like looking behind me at the environment. It's like, is it going to reveal any details of things? Oh, see like there, like you see that blue thing up in the air there? I bet you when you're in the area, you can't see that. But from this one angle, gives you a little hint. Alright, let's see. Oh. oh, no, no! Oh, we can do this. Please don't die, please don't die. Ah, oh, no! Okay, cool. We are back to where we started. Alright, I feel I really need to throw behind me here. So let's try to do that. Yes. Oh, okay. Seems that was actually quite important. Yay! I made a waterfall. My fans know how important that is to me. <laughs> No, this is where I died last time. Maybe you don't voluntarily go to the spot that you died. Alright, come back. Come back. Let's jump kick across. Oh. Oh, this is going to be challenging. Alright, let's do this. Oh, 
Oh, that was good. Go me, go me. This is genuinely fun. This is actually fun, just as you try to figure things out, right? And it's like here, you can see there's that thing there. I can't just jump down to it. I have to do it the way the game wants me to. Huh. I'm scared. <laughs> Alright. Something tells me if I fall, I'm not going to be happy. Just making sure there's no hidden secrets. Okay, okay. yep, yep, yep. Where am I? I love this perspective. Oh, look, you can see this fancy bridge. <laughs> what in the world? Ah! <laughs> okay, this is weird. This is really weird. Quite spooky if you think about it. Can I jump on you? No. Can I grab you? Let's see, can I grab you? Oh, I think you can. I think I destroyed it by accident. Ah, I hit you again, fish. I hit you again. Alright, let's see if I can continue. <laughs> That's hilarious that that just appears out of nowhere. Like, what in the world? Alright. Shake, shake, shake. No? Dodgy. Oh, another wind thingy. All right. Hang on. Oh, this was literally the spot where I was like, you can't access it. Isn't it? Whoa, 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 Right, oh, I didn't even realize this. Gotcha. Shake, shake. <laughs> Look at her face of happiness. So wrong. So wrong. Yeah. Huh. I like how you throw them and like it spins around like that. Hmm. Oh, I think I was meant to use him as like a jumping thing. There we go. There we go. So as you can see, right, when you first see like the trailer, you'd think there isn't much to this game, right? It's very, it's very easy to assume that because you're like left to right. That's, that's a bit of a boring game design. But despite the fact that you really only move left to right and occasionally go on a different angle, the experience feels like an actual 3D platformer in a way. So yeah, they really do the, uh, 2.5D thing. Yes, I was thinking I need to save. Yes, save. That's that's what you are to me. <laughs> ha, that funny picture. There's actually an interesting story that slowly gets revealed as you talk to characters as well. So, there's some serious potential for the end result of this uh, Kickstarter game. Alright, so I have not completed the demo. There is a lot still to do, but I think I've definitely shown you more than enough to let you know, hey, if you're interested in this sort of gameplay, in this game, in this sort of visual aesthetics, the demo is available now. This game is coming out next year in 2023. I think it has a lot of potential, has this nice innocence to it, right? It really does feel like a PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64 game. There's charm, there's humor, there's a good story. You're continuously finding little secrets and so forth, which has a really nice rewarding feeling you know you can <laughs> oh look she's back she's back she didn't die hey will <laughs> I 
Come on, any game that lets you do this, right? <laughs> and drag people wherever you want has to be good in, in someone's book, right? <laughs> I threw her so far. I threw her so far. All right. I think I'll stop abusing the people. Good work to the team working on this. Uh, yeah, feel free, to, feel free to check it out. Put it, it is available on Steam to be wishlisted. So then when it comes out next year, you do not forget. It's nice to uh, draw attention to, you know, another Kickstarter that didn't just die and go nowhere. These developers are obviously very interested in bringing their passion to life. They have released one other game previously as well. So this will be their second official game. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to contact the developers as well. Let them know that I've covered this game, that I think it's good. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to get my hands on a review key before release of this game. Because uh, yeah, one, I would love to play it and enjoy it. And two, I would love to um, help promote this game. You know, as I say on this channel a lot of a lot of the times, if a game is fun and I enjoy it and it especially makes me feel nostalgic and happy and this and that, I want to bring it to gamers' attention, you know? This is a cool game. I, I really like it and um, I do recommend you try it out. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with me. You have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you all live on this big blue planet of ours. God bless you all. Take care. And I'll see you all next time here, Game in My Whole Life, where I cover everything video game related, including 20-year-old PS1 and PS2 games, Super Nintendo games, survival horror, VR, literally, I cover everything. Feel free to go through that, that sexy, hefty backlog. All right, bye-bye.